Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover different types of fractions. So proper fractions, improper fractions, whole fractions, and mixed numbers. And we have an example of each that we're going to go through together in order to get these down. We're also going to model each of these. So that's going to help us visualize and really understand what each of these different types of fractions represents. So let's jump into number one here where we have proper fractions. So proper fractions have a numerator that is less than the denominator. So top number less than the bottom. Proper fractions represents um, part of a whole or part of a group. So a proper fraction represents a value less than a whole. And our example is 2 thirds. So we can see that the top number, the numerator, is less than the bottom number, the denominator. And our model of 2 thirds is going to be represented by this rectangle here, which is one whole rectangle. It's split into thirds, so three equal pieces. Now we need to fill in two to represent two out of three there, the fraction two thirds. So this would be one third, and this would be two thirds. So you can see that we have part of that whole, and it's less that uh, the value of that fraction is less than that whole. So there you have it as far as proper fractions. Now number two, we have improper fractions. So the numerator is going to be greater than or equal to the denominator. And in the case of our example, we have 9 fourths. So we can see that the top is larger in value than the bottom. So that's what we call an improper fraction. Now improper fractions represent a value greater than or equal to a whole. Let's, um, let's model 9 fourths. So we have some circles over here that are cut into fourths. Essentially what we need to do is fill in 9 fourths, so 9 sections, each being worth a fourth. So we can see that this would be 1 fourth, but we need 9 of those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, and nine. So you can see that we needed more than a whole there, that nine fourths represents a value greater than one whole. We actually have one, two, and then not quite enough for another whole there, so that's a fourth. So we have two holes and a fourth, which is, um, number four there. So I'm actually going to go out of order and talk about mixed number next. So you can see that that model also represents two and a fourth. Nine fourths over here, nine over four is actually equal to two and one fourth. One is an improper fraction and one is a mixed number. So a mixed number is a whole number and a proper fraction. Improper fractions and mixed numbers are equivalent it's just a different way of expressing the same value. Mixed numbers help us represent uh, values in between whole numbers. So two and a fourth, that is in between two holes and three holes. So mixed numbers help us represent those values. I go into more detail about improper fractions and mixed numbers and converting between the two in separate videos. I dropped those links down in the description. So lastly, since we went out of order, we're going to move to number three, where we have whole fractions. So we're going to talk about fractions that represent one whole. And that's when we have the numerator and the denominator the same. Now, uh, if you take a look at number two, improper fraction, we have numerator greater than or equal to the denominator. So technically speaking, a whole fraction, when we have the numerator and denominator the same, it is an improper fraction, but this is, we can think of it as a specific type of improper fraction. So our example, five fifths, five as our numerator and five as our denominator. So whenever you have the same number on the top and bottom, it's going to equal one whole. So 26 over 26 would equal one whole, 17 over 17 would equal one whole, three over three, and you should get the point. 
Now, zero over zero would not equal a whole, but everything else equals one whole. So let's model that. And we have a whole rectangle to the right here. And it's cut into fifths, so five equal pieces. Our denominator tells us to cut it into five equal pieces. Now we need to fill in five of those pieces. So this would be one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. So five out of five gives us that one whole. So there you have it. There are some different types of fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.